mechatronics or electrical engineering. So we're going to dive into the fascinating world of these two engineering fields. We're going to look at their applications, similarities, you know, differences and career prospects. Without doubt, mechatronics and electrical engineering are both the pillars of the technological revolution we are witnessing. Like if you will remove electrical engineering and mechatronics out of what we are doing right now, you would realize their importance, let me put it that way. They have a lot of similarities and of course a lot of differences. So let's start by understanding their foundations. Electrical engineering. Electrical engineering deals with the study and application of electricity, electronics and electromagnetism. It focuses on power systems, control systems, electrical devices and circuit design. On the other hand, we have mechatronics engineering, which combines mechanical engineering, electronics, computer science, and control engineering to design and create intelligent systems and machines. Now that we have a basic understanding, let's talk about their key areas of application. Electrical engineering plays a vital role in power generation, distribution, and utilization. It's responsible for designing electrical systems in buildings, power plants, and renewable energy sources. Mechatronics engineering, on the other hand, finds its applications in robotics, automation, aerospace, the automotive industry, and increasingly almost into any sector you can imagine. Because the way mechatronics engineering has been growing is in line with the way artificial intelligence has been growing too. As you know, recently, there has been a lot of programs that have been coming out, a lot of websites, a lot of applications that use artificial intelligence to get a lot of things done. The beauty of mechatronics engineering lies in its interdisciplinary nature. By combining elements of mechanical, electrical, and computer engineering, we can create intelligent systems that can sense, think, and act. Mechatronics engineers have the skills to design and develop robots, automated manufacturing systems, and even smart wearable devices. Electrical engineering, on the other hand, has been the backbone of our modern societies for decades. Electrical engineers play a crucial role in designing and maintaining our power grids, developing communication systems, and improving electrical devices. The advancements in renewable energy and electric transportation are also driven by electrical engineering innovations. Now that we have a better understanding of the core aspects and applications of both fields, let's look at the career prospects they offer. Now let's start with electrical. Electrical engineering has a vast range of career options. From working on renewable energy projects to developing smart grids, this field offers diverse opportunities. Just look at this. I went on Google this time. I just Googled jobs that you can get with an electrical engineering degree and voila, here it provided me with over 20 job roles that you can get with an electrical engineering degree. You can become a design engineer, can become even a computer hardware engineer, of course, an electrical engineer, software engineer, even aerospace engineer. Because with electrical engineering, you can be able to work on the communication systems, even the radar, the satellites for aerospace technology. Here you have automotive engineer and so on. Now mechatronics engineers. Mechatronics engineers get the opportunity to work on cutting edge projects. I just got off the phone with my friend that is studying mechatronics engineering. He is in his final year right now. And he got me pretty excited about mechatronics engineering. I asked him between mechatronics and electrical, which one is he going to choose? And he pretty much said that mechatronics is like the father and then electrical is like the son. No kidding. I'm sure some of you might argue that. But his point was that a lot of the job roles and projects that electrical engineers go into, mechatronics engineers can actually go into those roles and even more. To the list of the job roles we found in Google earlier, you can even add robotics engineer, instrumentation engineer, data scientist or big data analyst. Because mechatronics engineers go into programming and computer related subjects that electrical engineers do, they're up to the mix. We can add artificial intelligence and so on. Plus, before we ended the call, he made an analogy using Iron Man. He said that 
Being a mechatronics engineer is like becoming the Iron Man. You're never going to be Iron Man. If you remember in the movie, Iron Man was able to work with mechanical systems. He was programming his, you know, whole setup, his whole suit. He was good with electronics, with, el with electrical systems and so on. And this happens to be the whole combination of mechatronics engineering. So by studying mechatronics engineering, you can pretty much add all those skill sets into one degree and be able to work like Iron Man and you'd be able to become Iron Man, literally. I am Iron Man. From my voice, you can tell I was really excited about mechatronics engineering. But as you know, it's up to you to decide. I really hope with this video, it really helps you in your decision process on which engineering field to choose between the two of them. And I'm sure a lot of you are even looking up to other engineering fields. I have a video where I discussed which engineering field you should choose from all the engineering fields that are common. So make sure you check the video. Thank you very much for watching. Signing off now. See you on the next one.